Welcome to Dev Online. In this tutorial of JavaScript, I want to tell you this tutorial is for beginners. If you are new to JavaScript, look no further. This JavaScript beginning course will give you a strong foundation in the JavaScript language. At the core of creating application for the web is through knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In this course, JavaScript is the big picture. You will learn how to create application for the web. First, you have to learn to display content up to the web with HTML. Next, you will explore styling the web with CSS. And finally, you will discover how to make the web interactive with JavaScript. When you are finished with this course, you will have foundational knowledge of JavaScript that will help you as you move forward to create application for the web. So what we will be do today in this section, JavaScript definitions, define JavaScript, why study JavaScript, what is advantages of JavaScript, what we will be learn in this course. And one quick example I will be show you in the end of this video. So be prepared to become a true coder. Now time to taking notes. You have to be some notebook with you when you're watching my videos and write your content, whichever you like the content, which script you may be interested in that will be more helpful for you so you can write, write it in your notebook. Let me give you some tips. Review immediately, immediately because we are going to building upon these concepts quickly. The farmer you girls, the better you will be. Redo the exercise in home because in this tutorial, I will be provide you some exercise during the tutorial. So don't just watch video or reread articles. Actually spend time to redo them from scratch on your own. Get help, ask help, come to the video again, watch again video. And then if you still not understand, you still stick to some questions, you know, you can't do this. So comment on the video. Okay, I am not understand this particular things. Can you explain later or in the another video? Or you can talk with your team member or some of your friends with your colleagues. Last thing, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid that you can't get on the JavaScript, that you can't get it. JavaScript is so easy basically. Just have to be learned with a patience. So you will get this, it takes time, but you will get this. You just keep it up, patience will pay off. So now, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is a dynamic computer programming language. It is lightweight and most commonly used as a part of web pages. JavaScript allows developers to create dynamic web applications, which is capable of taking in user inputs. When it's taking to user inputs and changing the display to the user, what they want basically. Also, we creating with the JavaScript animating elements and slidings like this so many things we will do with the javascript so now the part of why studying need to be javascript so there is three languages basically in the web developer have to learn this number one is html second css and the third is javascript this is the basic things for the web developer they have to must need to be learn this and web pages are not only the place where javascript is used many desktop and server programmers programs use javascript like node.js some databases like mongodb and kochdb also use javascript as their programming languages now advantages of javascript what are the advantages of JavaScript? 
it's taking less server interaction basically it's create servers less interaction no need to traffic send a lot of traffic sent to the servers and taking information we are going to validate to the user input what user want we send to the page of the client so we making like this with the help of JavaScript immediately feedback to the visitors when the visitor come to the web page we immediately giving them feedback whatever they want to ask or what they want to search it increase interactivity like you can create interfaces that react when the user who are slidings who are animations uh, styling of components all we can do with this JavaScript rich interfaces we can use some um, drag and drop components like the one of was example drag the picture and post it so these kind of example are rich interfaces now what we will be learn in this course we already talk about what is JavaScript next we are going to JavaScript syntax how we enable JavaScript how we placement where we place it JavaScript how we can access to the element how we can responding to a click when we are click to the button so how we can respond them how we can change the website contents how we can manipulate styles with the JavaScript working with variables operators working with arrays if an else statement like true or false we can use switch cases also I will be provide you one test example of game that you guys will be work on it others we will be look loops and while loops both are different and how we can control loops how we can create function how we can use function how we can work with events how we can display events how we can render events how we implement cookies in our web pages how we can drag redirect the pages how we can use objects numbers boolean strings that and maps so these all things we will be going to learn in this course now the time of quick example let me show you some quick example how javascript is works so i'm going to my desktop features and here i'm typing my visual studio code editor need to have to open so let me screen bigger <coughs> sorry guys i have cough today and i'm just opening index html file which we will be is a simple index html file thing we are going to create a button which is called a click function like so this is a basically a button which is i'm calling click me the button called click me here i'm going to give him a one simple function of click function so in the javascript have one function called click handles you can say click handles you can click handle so here i am seeing to the handle alert whenever click the person click on the button it should alert us so what they going to alerts i am taking javascript is very easy to learn now i am going to save this file and let me open in the browser so you can see here click me button if you guys see here there is a click me button so let me click on this click me when I click on this it becomes red blue and what is say JavaScript is very easy to learn and you can say so this alert JavaScript is just a very simple function you can define by self another example <coughs> Another example I'm going to show you in the script pad. Like, look, this is script, which is you can see relative to text JavaScript. 
and here I'm seeing uh, console log in the console log I'm saying hello world now I'm going to save this file and let's go again and refresh your index.html now you have to you cannot see on the console log whatever we write in the console log you have to go in the inspect and here on the right side you can see a console so when you click on the console here you can see hello world the one we write here in the console log this is the very good method to use javascript whenever you're working in a big project so you can console log your errors you can console log variables you can console log animals which will give you information this element is working or not it's the best debugger tools you can see so i hope you guys enjoy this video please if you guys have any question please comments below how you like my video please also comments in the video and also like my video and see you guys in the next video with a chapter of javascript